Hi everyone, my name is Maria and I started collecting succulents about six years ago. So over the years my collection has grown so much and I have something about 300 succulents and some more recently tropical plants. Today I wanted to share with you my four uh, top favorite uh, succulent plants. Now, if you're a collector like me, um, asking somebody to pick four favorite plants sounds really cruel, cool, right? Because we have so many that we really love. So as I was going through this process of, you know, choosing the four favorite ones, I literally was going by the plants and observing my own reaction to them. And I would just, my mood would change when I look at some plants. I would have like, a lot of joy and excitement. So I'm gonna go from four to one, with one being the most favorite one. So let's start with number four. So my number four, guys, is Graptovaria Fred Eyes. Why I love this uh, succulent. There are so many things I love about this succulent. So look at the colors. And this year, I don't have uh, Fred Eyes under lights during the summertime which when they're under lights, they get more of a deep pink. But I love the, uh, the variety of colors that this succulent gets. So it's like a dirty yellow green, then you can get some pink, purple. You can also have bluish green tones. Depending on the, the time of the year, the temperature changes. It's just beautiful. This one, for example, has been in a more shaded area. These are like smaller, rosettes from uh, uh, beheaded uh, plants, what's left over. And you can see it's looking more bluish compared to this one. Um, this is also a very fast growing uh, succulent. It has really big leaves. And when you remove this leaf, you're gonna very quickly have a rosette growing. Uh, it can tolerate well if it sometimes has a little bit more water or, or if it didn't get water for a little bit longer time. So really, wonderful succulent to have. Let's now talk about my number three uh, most favorite succulent and we're gonna move toward my dining room where my euphorbias are. So here in my dining room I have a lot of uh, euphorbias. I have some of euphorbias outside as well. I knew that one of my favorite four plants has to be euphorbia. Uh, so as I was walking by my euphorbias I was thinking which one I love, you know, which one I enjoy so much. And uh, I looked at the monodanium and I also have a monodanium Tanzania red and they're like such a pretty euphorbias. But I didn't quite feel the excitement that I feel about the other choices that I made. And then I looked at my deck that's just uh, on the way out of the dining room. And I saw my sticks on fire. I absolutely love this euphorbia, guys. Uh, the beautiful rainbow of colors that it gets, yellowish, orangish, reddish tones, depending on the time of the year. Uh, in summertime, and especially in uh, fall, when it gets cooler, it will get these really, really strong reddish tones. And, um, it's another very fast growing plant. I started with a very small specimen. I think it's been three and a half years ago. I got it for my birthday for my husband. It was in a four inch pot, much smaller than this. And this is the plant from, from that gift. I have trimmed it many times. Actually this year I trimmed it in spring and propagated and I trimmed it again and it did some more propagation. And you know, it looks so uh, sculptural, so interesting, like like a big decoration in the house because in the winter time when it gets completely green, uh, because it has a, a less of a light and less of a change in temperatures, it stu still looks stunning somewhere in my uh, living room. It's just a beautiful plant. And I just love euphorbias. They're, a bit weird and unusual so not everybody is into euphorbias i don't know if some people would even consider them pretty 
they're just uh, very unique looking plants. My number two most favorite uh, succulent is a Cheveria. Um, I have here a Cheveria Pearl Wannenberg. There is so many gorgeous Echeverias, guys, but I still really love this one uh, so much. And I know I love it because I always have so many of this Echeveria. Actually, all of my favorites, I noticed that I always have multiple pots of the same pot, of the same plant. So I always, always propagate this one. And just like Fred Ives, it can have such a uh, variety of colors on the leaves. So you can see like a greenish, dirty yellowish, pink, purple. And if you have them under lights, like this one has been under light for a very long time, then it's more of a pink and purple color. Uh, I have another one that's actually a propagation of this one because this used to be a stem with the Pearl One Nuremberg and I cut it off. And this is the head that was on top. And that one is under Spider Farmer Light. So you can see it's a little bit different color on all of them. And I just think it's beautiful. And again, a very giving plant grows pretty fast. Uh, propagation with leaves is also relatively quick. As you can see, I have some leaf propagations here. Um, and uh, even though it's readily available in most big box stores and nurseries, and uh, it's not as expensive, I think it's just gorgeous. Uh, and you should definitely have this one if you decide to have some Echeverias. So we're coming to number one, my most favorite succulent. And you know, if you have watched my channel in the past, you know what has to be number one. Uh, what else is gonna be my favorite succulent uh, but Corsula? Uh, but you might be surprised which Corsula I have picked as my favorite. So, so this Corsula is also really available. I suppose I'm gonna have to wait. I think it's a mailman. Go lay down. I appreciate you guarding duties, but I need you to shut up. <laughs> so this succulent is also readily available um, and big box stores, nurseries, but I just love it and I always have multiple pots of it. It's string of buttons guys and it's not baby's necklace it's just a plain string of buttons. This is one that I have and then there is another one that has a tiny bit bigger leaves as you can see. This one has been outside and you can see it has a reddish edging because it has been outside and more stressed. And then I also have this one, guys, which is a hybrid of uh, Corsula string of buttons. And it has a little bit more bluish color. I have this for a while. I have propagated this one for many, many times. I'm very excited that it's having a lot of new growth coming up here. So, uh, and it's very heavy. So I think I'm gonna have to trim it again here and hopefully this middle is gonna fill up. So again, why I love a string of uh, buttons. Uh, I love uh, the orderly look of string of buttons. I love that stacked up formation in chrysoulas. I really think it's just so interesting. I believe that our favorite plants reflect our personality. Um, to be very honest and open with you, I'm very impatient as a person and I'm also very, very productive in, um, in my life. Every day I am always doing something. Uh, and so I'm not attracted to plants like, for example, lit tops. For me, I have discovered they're kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, they're interesting, but they are, there is not a lot of going on with them during the year. I like fast growing plants, aggressive growers. I do like pretty but simple plants. Uh, I also love order in plants because I love order and structure and, and I love that stacked up formation in the plants. So 
I would love to hear what are your top favorite uh, for succulents and as you're doing this I would recommend you not to do it quickly but to think for, for a while and just uh, pass by your plants and observe how does it feel when you are looking at your plant. I'm gonna tell you that every year here on the porch uh, that's uh, on the way from the living room and the dining room I always put on the table um, Pearl von Nuremberg and a string of buttons there together. And, and whenever I, I get out and sit there, I look at them and that gives me joy. And that's why I chose to put them on the table and not at some other plants. So what are plants that give you the most joy? I would love to hear in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon.